parkour. Oh god! <sighs> Perfect landing. Takeoff was a little eh. But watch out, Funk Brothers. Parkour champion right here. <laughs> Today, we're doing another top video. You saw our top three tallest bars, as well as my personal top three completes. And we wanna give something for you park boys out there. Today we're doing my personal top five aluminum bars available on the market today. So let's start with number five. Let me just pull them up right here. Ooh, number five looks good. And taking the number five spot is the Envy Union bars. I'm gonna show you a picture right now. They'd be a lot higher up, but they're really hard to get a hold of. These bars are super popular. Every time we get them in stock, they sell out super fast. They're a little bit taller than some aluminum bars and they're lightweight. And with their unique design, they definitely deserved a spot up here. But unfortunately, due to the three month curing process, they are hard to get a hold of. Availability is uh, an issue. Still good, top five. Now for number four, the M MFX Aero Bars. These bars come on every VX7 Extreme Complete and the VX6 as well. They are made from 6061 T6 aluminum and come in a bunch of new colors like this turquoise right here. So you can definitely get some unique colorways here. So these are coming in just about two pounds on the dots, fluctuating a little bit because they have to kind of hold them steady, but about two pounds. So really light bars. These bars come stock with a slit to run any IHC or that Mad Gear Mini IHIC compression or Mini HIC as well. The stock width is two feet, so that's 24 inches right there. About 24 inches tall as well, so 24 by 24. MGP Aero Bar taking the fourth place spot for the top five aluminum bar. Let's check out number three. And third place is the Ethic Dryade or Dryad Bars. Ethic is always coming out with those weird names and unique designs. Unique fluting design is going to remove material. Due to the design of it, you're keeping strength too. So it's getting it lightweight, but maintaining that same strength. Only fallback is if you cut them to run SES, the clamp can come and uh, pinch these together and then your bars don't work anymore. Of course, these are gonna come with a stock slit because they're meant to be used with ICS-10. Starnut already pre-installed. I don't know if you can see that in there. Definitely one of the lightest compression systems so if you pair the Dryad bars with the Ethic ICS-10, you're gonna have a lightweight scooter. Like most aluminum bars, the crossbar at the end is milled out so you can put a normal bar end in there and then it gets a little bit thicker to maintain strength, good solid welds. The reason they're in third place is right now the availability is mostly smaller sizes. So if you're a small rider, you can still get the Dryads. If you're a bigger rider, unfortunately the bigger sizes are a little bit hard to get a hold of. So that's why this is holding down a third place spot. Let's check out the dimensions of these ones, like I said, they're already gonna be a little bit shorter, 23 inches wide. So these bars are almost exactly 23 tall. So like I said, the smaller sizes are more readily available. And that's why they're falling a little bit short and taking third place. Let's see what these bad boys weigh though. Keep in mind, they're smaller. That puts them at one pound 10.1 ounces. That's one pound 10 ounces for the smaller size. Keep in mind, get the taller ones, they're gonna weigh more. <sighs> We're done? No, we still got a top two spots. Number two, the District HTAL1 series. These guys are taking the second place due to the unique design on the gussets here, which is gonna add strength. You need all that for your aluminum bars because they aren't the strongest. District has been in the game one of the longest companies and they've been making aluminum bars for a while. So no top five aluminum bar is complete without having a District on there. And how about these awesome color right here? This is called coin, bronze, or copper. Look good with the bronze, copper, and orange right there. Of course, most aluminum bars come with a pre-installed slit. You can always cut it off and run a full-size SES. So these bars just look good and man, District sticking with you. Let's check out the size of these bad boys and definitely taking the second place because the unique design, the fact that they are a little bit taller for aluminum bars too. These guys are coming in just a hair shy of 23. So we can pretty much call them 23 and be good. Now let's check out the height. See, taking home the second place with all those factors and being 27 tall. So some of you bigger riders that aren't that hard, you can still run some aluminum bars. And if you cut off the slit and put in a full size SES, you'll be right at about 28 tall. So that's pretty tall for aluminum bars. I know what you're thinking, dude. HTAL1, second place, what's going on? Dryads, third place, your list is whack. Aero bars? fourth place and Envy Union Mars in fifth place? Like what's going on? What could take first place? Well, anytime you think aluminum bar, what do you think? Envy Reaper. 
Look at that. So this is undeniably the aluminum bar that dominates the scooter scene. Flavio Pacenti's signature Reaper bar. The design is so popular amongst the kids and outsells every other aluminum bar freaking tenfold. So Envy Reapers are the top aluminum bar. The design is great. The stickers awesome. The colorways are amazing. Performance wise, they stay on par with all the other aluminum bars, but just for the sheer popularity of these, Envy Reaper bars number one. One. They're also available in an XL size that will allow you to ride a little bit taller too, but they're only available in black and polished. So if you want some cool colors like this red orange here, this blood orange, you have to get the smaller ones and hopefully you're a smaller rider. These bars are just about 23 inches wide and the shorter bars are coming in at 23.75. I've noticed a couple of slight discrepancies in height. So right about 23 and a half, 23.75. There you go guys, that is your top five aluminum bars on the market right now. You heard it here from Sean Carville, the Grape Slushies. Follow us on YouTube. You heard it from the Vault Pro Scooters. Thank you so much, guys. Be sure to come back, check out all of our other content, like, subscribe, let us know how wrong I am, because this is all me thinking this. Well, not with the Reaper bars, because you guys buy a ton of these. So this is you guys. If you argue that there's a better bar than this on top number one spot, mm -mm, just done. I'll listen to the other four positions, but there is no denying this is number one. Come on, guys. All right, see you later.